Honey, you had to be strong to survive in Africa. Honey, I am team Africa all the way. But we have to be wise when we return back. So you all, I want to talk to you all about moving to Africa and being ready when you move to Africa. Because it, it, it do not make sense for us to return back to the land of our beautiful ancestors and we end up homeless. That shouldn't be, that should not be but it's possible because we're human and this world is not perfect. My life, my life. My life, my life, when times get hard, we make it through whatever. Make it through whatever. My life, my life, good days or bad days don't last forever. Don't last forever. Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome to my channel, Rooted In. Royalty, it is Aisha Diamond here. I am here to try to help my beautiful brothers and sisters as much as possible. You all, I have heard through the grapevine that there's some um, sisters in the Gambia that is homeless from the diaspora. We have got to do better and we have got to know what we are doing when we turn, return back to Africa for good. Now, it's one thing when you visit, which I do recommend you to visit, if you can, more than once before you actually make the permanent move. I highly recommend it. Now, at first, I used to be like, visit to me. Uh -uh, I'm not, uh -uh, honey, I'm just going. I'm just going and I'm ready and I'm moving for good. I'm not visiting because I know what I want to do. But by and by, <laughs> now I understand what they say when they say you should visit first. And I totally agree. I recommend anyone to visit if you can, more than once before you make the permanent move. So you all, when we return back to the land of our beautiful ancestors, it's a beautiful thing. It's a commendable thing. And it's something that I believe the Almighty wants us to do. He is calling. Mother Africa is calling calling for her children to return back. Now, I truly believe that with all of my heart and my soul. So I am all for our people returning back. You should not return back to Africa if you only one paycheck ahead. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You got to make the sacrifices when you in the West, while you in the West, before you get to Africa, to Cut expenses in the area you need to so you can save, 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 and save again. Because when you hit those grounds, money goes fast. And then your mindset is not even changed yet. You look at everything like, oh, you you converting back to American dollars. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's just such and such American dollars. Oh, I can afford that. I got this. Uh-uh. <laughs> I recommend you all, when you all make it to the land of our beautiful ancestors, you all need to start thinking like the locals very fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. My first five months, honey, I, I was living the life, honey. <laughs> I was in vacation mode, honey. But when I went back to America and I returned back to Africa, I was on a whole nother level, honey. I was a 100% Gambian, honey. I started moving and acting and operating like a true Gambian, like a local. So I recommend when you come in, you got to start, you got to learn quick. You got to move like Gambians because it just don't make sense for us to be spending crazy 
when we plan it to be there long term? No, because you will run out. And I recommend that you all have a savings to the side just in case it don't work for you. Uh, take it back to the West. And you need to have a plan lined up just in case if it don't work for you, what you're going to do when you get back to the West. You got to have a plan for that too. So before you repatriate to Africa, you got to have a prayer, a plan, and you have to be ready. If A don't work, B don't work, you need to have a plan C lined up. You have got to plan it out. You cannot afford to let people or YouTubers rush you and you move permanently, prematurely. Mm-mm. You can't do it. You can't afford to do it. So we all have to pray, sacrifice, plan, research, and be ready. Be ready, people. It can work. It definitely can work now. But let me tell you, Africa is not for the weak. You have to be. There's no other way around it. You do not make money in Africa like you make money in the West. 80% of people. Now, 20% may, but 80%, you don't make money. The dollar goes far. The losses is limited. A lot of the currency in different countries do not stretch like the American dollar. We all have to be wise people, have to be. Another thing, we have got to connect with the right people. If you do not connect with the right people, it can break you. And the elder Gambian brother told me that before I went. And he was right. He was right. You got to connect with the right people. Africa is a beautiful place. But if you connect with the wrong people, it can destroy your Africa experience. And returning to the land of our beautiful ancestors, we do not need no bad, too many bad experiences. Now you're gonna have some bad experience because this world is not perfect. And I always say, this world is not perfect, but yet the Gambia is my paradise. So you're going to have some bad experiences. You all have to remember some people, I'm not saying all people, but some people in Africa look at people coming from the West, the diaspora, like you are rich, like you have money. So they will try their best to do what they can do to get it from you. Not only the diaspora, our brothers and sisters that was born on the continent, when they go away and they return back, they are treated the same way. People think you have money, honey. They think it's money on the trees. <laughs> they think the only thing we have to do is go to the West and get a ladder and grab the money off the trees. That's what they think. So people are waiting because they see dollar signs, dollar signs, honey. They see dollar signs, they waiting to get you. But you have to be wise. And trust me, you got to be prayerful, honey. And they would change, they would have these people to take up their price so they can get a cut too. So a lot of times you get scammed because it's three, four people going to get a cut. Some delices off just one purchase that you're trying to purchase. So you have to be, you must move with either a pure Gambian, pure hearted Gambian, or you must move with somebody that's been on the grounds and already know the way. Because if not, I'm going to tell you, you're going to get got. And guess what? That's going to eat up your money even the more. But when you hit the grounds, whether in Gambia, Ghana, Tanzania, Mali, Ivory Coast, Whatever, if you hit the grounds and you automatic start moving and operating like a local, you're going to win nine times out of ten. You're going to win. So you have to make the right connections. And let me tell you all, it's hard to make the right connections, honey. It's hard. Honey, my first family, when I was with them, when I first got to the Gambia, when I was with them, everything was cool. 
When I got away from under their wings, honey, it was rough. <laughs> it was just like a child finally getting out on their own. It was not easy. Cause when I made it to the Gambia, they showed me the way. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, First Family. They showed me the way. But I'm so grateful for them because I learned a lot. But it was still hard when I got away from under their wings. But we have to be praying people. I don't know how some of you all maneuver and move and live and breathe without the Almighty, but I cannot do it. But we're going to go through some things anyway, just humans, honey, because we was we going to be tested and tried. We can't get away from it. But when you have that connection, it makes things all better. And you all, you all must know when it comes to businesses, the business that work in the West just may not work in Africa. So you got to be wise. The money don't flow like it flows in the West majority of the time. I feel like you have to have a plan. You have to have income coming in monthly, if you can, from the West. Even if it's retired, or even if you have an online job, or you have an online business that really, really makes money, it's good to have something coming in, in addition to whatever you're planning on doing when you get to Africa. Because if everything is slow for as business in Africa, at least you have something else coming in. Um, depending on your lifestyle. Some people are able to retire and just go ahead and go for good. I have some friends, they was my guests first at the Diamonds Guest House. Diamonds Guest House, shout out. If you need a booking, hit me up. <laughs> they, was, they came to stay with us. They stayed with us over a month, good people. They retire and they live in their best life in Africa. But they still have challenges. They still have tests and trials. When it comes to me, I'm not retired yet. So even though Gambia is my paradise, and I love the Gambia, I have a full life in the Gambia, but I cannot be in the Gambia all, all year round. I have to go back to the West to work, to make some dollars to turn to the losses because I'm not retired yet. But guess what? I'm still making things happen in the Gambia. So I'm getting ready for real retirement. You have to have a plan in prayer. You want to go for good and you know you don't have any income coming in from no other sources, you might need to reconsider. So it may be good to go for partial of the year and go back to work which some people don't want to do that. But sometimes we got to do what we have to do. You have to research, research, and research again so you can be prepared and you can be ready. And if you do these things, you will not end up in the Gambia homeless. I'm telling you, there's no way we should end up in the Gambia homeless. And like I said, we, we are human, so things happen. But if you pray, plan, prepare, and research like crazy, you will be in better shape. Do not let people rush you to make a permanent move. One sister hit me up about housing, and I was telling her about the guest house and everything when she was in the West, but she did not book with me. But when she got to the Gambia, she ended up hitting me up, wanted to book with me, but I didn't have the rooms that she needed. But if she would have booked with me early on, I would have had, I would have been able to accommodate her. But you all, this sister said that before she made it to the Gambia, YouTubers was like, just come, you'll be good, just come on. Da -da -da -da. So she picked up her life for the Gambia. When she hit the ground, she was trying to reach out to the same people talking about, come on, just come. Da -da 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 -da. And she could not reach the people. They, it's like they just got MIA. They just fell off the face of the Gambia. So my thing is, 
Don't let people hype you up to move your whole life and you're not ready yet. You have to be ready, have to be prepared. And people, you all need to stop doing that. Stop hyping these people up to move for good and they're not prepared. Now hype them up to visit. Come on, come on.